So who would have thought? Come week 14, the New York football giants are one game out of the playoffs. The five and seven giants with a win here tonight and a couple losses from some other teams could potentially be in line to be in the NFL playoffs. Something I didn't think I was gonna be saying at least for this season, but it is entirely possible and tonight, the New York football giants go on the road to take on the second most important football team here in Los Angeles. Actually, probably the third behind USC and the Rams. The Los Angeles Chargers, led by Justin Herbert, among others. It should be a good one here. And folks, if you have not yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for some more Madden 22 here on the channel. Let's take a look at the playoff picture right now. You see in the NFC, the one sees the undefeated Cowboys, and you got the Vikings, Falcons, Rams, 49ers, football team, and Buccaneers. Again, we need some help, but by the end of the day today, we can be tied for a spot in the playoffs. And again, yes, the Buccaneers have the tiebreaker over us, but if the football team lose and we win, we play Washington very soon. I do believe in two weeks. So there's our opportunity right there. Of course, next week, though, we got to take on the Cowboys. So really not looking forward to that one. Justin Herbert, though, making the start tonight for LA. 23 touchdowns so far this year. 10 interceptions with 3,300 yards. The Chargers have it here on a second and 10. Herbert looking right side. He will find his man. It is the veteran tight end, Jared Cook. Going to get the Chargers to the 46-yard line. Herbert looking to throw right side. He's got his man. It will be Joe Reed. Reed for the first down to the 48-yard line. Herbert looking across the middle. He's got his man again. Who else? Jared Cook. The former New Orleans Saint will take him all the way down to the 25-yard line. It is a second and 10 now for the Chargers. Herbert left side. He's left wide open again. Cook going to make his way all the way down to the one-yard line. It will be a first and goal for the Chargers. Herbert going to get it to the left side. It will be the running back. It is Joshua Kelly. Kelly gets into the end zone and what a dominant first drive for the Chargers. Out comes Danny Dimes. It is Daniel Jones, 3,200 yards so far this year. 21 touchdowns, 19 interceptions. Third and eight for the Giants here from the 27-yard line. And Jones has got nowhere to go. Joey Bosa around the edge will get to him. And now the Chargers get the football at the 37-yard line. Herbert going right side. Nice ball right there from the man out of Oregon. He will find his receiver. It is Joe Reed for the first now. Third and five, though. From the 44, over the middle. First down, it will be Mike Williams. Williams to the 31, and Blake Martinez gets hurt. Usually the guy I use her over the middle. Martinez is out for three weeks, so that sucks. Add him alongside Saquon Barkley. Get all the injuries. This Giants team does have, and by the way, Keenan Allen going to take LA to the 13-yard line. Second and 10 here for Justin Herbert sitting. He's got all day in the pocket. Going to look left side. It is through the hands of his running back, the backup running back, and Justin Jackson now a third and 10. For the Chargers, Herbert has got all day to throw the football. Oh my goodness, someone put some damn pressure on him. He's going to get it off to Jared Cook. Cook will not get the first down. That was ridiculous. And now the Chargers are going to come out here for the field goal. It is up and it is good. So LA goes up by a score of 10 to nothing. The Giants get it at the 21-yard line. It is a second 13. Balls up for Kenny Galladay. And what a play. Galladay for the first down of the 36. Jones now in a play action fake. Going to roll to his right. Looking to throw to Kadarius Tony. What a throw and what a grab. The Giants now have it at the 41 and a second and five. Jones dropping back left. He's got his man, Devontae Booker, who is very soon going to go out of this game because, of course, your starting running back always goes out. So it's going to be the Corey Clement show in just a few moments. But it's the first and 10 for Jones. Looking for it all. Oh, Darius Slayton. Somehow he caught it out of bounds. Unbelievable. Second and 10 handoff to Corey Clement. Again, get used to that name. He's going to be in a lot. He'll pick up a gain of 11 down to the 22. First and 10 for Jones again. Out the gun left side. The tight end. It will be Evan Ingram. What a stiff arm. Ingram for a gain of 17 to the 5 as we go to the second quarter. LA up so far by a score of 10 to nothing. First and goal here for New York from the five yard line. It will be a handoff to Corey Clement and Clement's gonna get in. He had two in Miami just last week and he's gonna get one here tonight. There we go. It's gonna be now a seven to 10 game as the Chargers get it back on a third and eight. Herbert throws it straight into the dirt. 
So the Giants get the football back at their own 33. It's a third and six for Daniel Jones. Go into the left, and both teams are going to go three and out. So the Chargers now have it at their own 34. It will be a dump off pass to Keenan Allen. Allen will pick up a gain of about nine to set up for now a third and two from the 43-yard line. Herbert looking to throw. He's got time in the pocket being chased around the edge. He will get it off to Mike Williams, and Williams will pick up seven yards to get to exactly midfield. First and 10 for Los Angeles. Herbert, quick hitter left side. He has got Keenan Allen. Allen holds onto the football to the 33-yard line and is now a third and two from the 25. Handoff to Joshua Kelly. And Kelly's got the first down of the 16. And now here is that first down. Herbert looking to throw. He's going to have a man. It is Mike Williams. He will beat Bradbury to the inside. And Williams is going to add on to this Chargers lead. They're up 17 to 7. Now on a second and seven, Jones back with the football, going to scramble to his right. Daniel Jones using his speed. Jones going to get all the way down to the 49. It is a gain of 23 on the ground. Second and eight now for New York. It's a dump off pass to Corey Clement. Clement to the 40. Now a first and 10 with a minute 43 left. Jones dropping back, looking for it all. He's going for Darius Slayton. And Slayton comes down with the football. He's down at the one. Oh my goodness. First and goal, Jones, hand off Corey Clement again. He's going to get into the end zone, and the New York football Giants respond immediately. It is 17 to 17-14 now with a minute left to play in the second quarter, and Herbert's going to get sacked. So now a third and 11, and the Chargers are going to hand off the football to Kelly. They will get nothing, and the Giants get it back with 30 seconds. Trying to put something on the board here in a third and 10. Jones going to scramble to his right. He's going to be hit. Oh my goodness. That is exactly what you did not need. Jones fumbles for the one millionth time this season and Derwin James will get into the end zone. Yikes. <laughs> I mean, the Chargers go up by 10. We got seven seconds left. The Giants just hoping not to give up another touchdown. Jones will actually get it to Corey Clement to the 44 yard line. It's a second and one with one second left. Jones just gonna close his eyes, say a prayer, go for John Ross and oh my goodness, no chance. Oh my god, Daniel Jones to John Ross, he gets in! That's the one play John Ross will run. It is the fly route to the end zone and he will get in. And the New York Giants cut the lead to three. I can't believe it. All right, we now go to the third quarter, only down by three. It's a 24 to 21 ball game. And won't you look at this. The Giants start with the football. Second eight for Daniel Jones. Looking to throw. Rolling to his right. He's got some time. Evan Ingram is wide open. Ingram down the sidelines. He's going to get the Giants all the way to the opposing 25-yard line. It's a new set of downs for the Giants at the 22. Second and seven for Daniel Jones. Scrambling to his right. Looking. He's going to take off. And he's going to run. Jones is going to get down to the eight-yard line. It is a first and goal now for New York. A third and goal. Jones out the gun from the four. And he's going to get sacked. Okay, so now the Giants are going to have to kick a field goal. It will be Graham Gano for a 31-yarder. It is up and it is good. This game is tied at 24. And the Chargers get the football right back. Third and 11 for Justin Herbert. He's looking. He's got all day. He's going to dump it off to Jared Cook. And Cook's not going to get the first down. So, the Giants will turn him over, and now on a third and 12 from the 44, Jones looking left side, he's got Evan Ingram open again! The tight end will get his way all the way to the 26-yard line. Jones with 260 yards passing so far. It's a second and 12 for Jones. Play action fake, and he's gonna go down around the edge. It is Bosa for the second time in this game. Third and 21 now for the Giants from the 38-yard line. Jones to Kadarius Toney. It is batted down. And out comes Gano for a 55-yard field goal. It is up, and it's through. The Giants take the lead. It's 27-24, their first lead of this ballgame. But look at this. It's a big run to start off this next drive for the Chargers. Joshua Kelly will get him all the way down to the 46-yard line. First and 10 out the 41. Play action fake. Herbert looking to throw. He has got all day in the pocket. Oh my goodness. This is stupid. He's going to get it off. James Bradbury. Oh, it's incomplete. 
All right, so it is a second and 10 from the 41. It is a inside zone handoff. Back to Joshua Kelly. He is tackled by Logan Ryan, but he gets all the way to the 20-yard line as we are now in the fourth quarter. Second and 10 for Herbert from the 20-yard line. Right side, he has got Kelly again. Kelly's going to get big hit by James Bradbury, but he holds on to the football. At the 11 for a third and one. Going to his left, Herbert finds Keenan Allen for the first down. The Chargers have it now at the nine yard line for a second and goal. It's going to be a handoff to the rookie out of Missouri, Larry Roundtree Jr. And he's blown up. It's going to be a third and goal now from the 10 yard line. Herbert out the gun, looking to throw. He's got time in the pocket. And when I say he's got time, he's got time to read a book in there. Maybe make dinner in the process, book a hotel reservation. Oh my goodness, he finds a man in the end zone. Jared Cook gets in and that is so stupid. The Chargers are going to go up by four, and now the Giants get the football back. It's a second and seven with seven minutes left for Daniel Jones. He's going to find Kandarius Tony to the outside, so that's a very good start. It is a gain of 14, but now we face a third and 12 from the 43-yard line. Jones going to scramble to his right. He's being chased by Joey Bosa yet again, and Bosa's going to catch up to him. It is Joey Bosa's third sack of the game, and the Chargers will get the football back with five minutes. The Giants' defense is in need of a stop. And it's going to be a third and one right now from the 33-yard line. Herbert's going to hand it off to Kelly. And Joshua Kelly is off to the races. Logan Ryan cannot get to him in the 2015-10. Joshua Kelly's in. 67 yards to the house. And the Los Angeles Chargers are going to take an 11-point lead with four minutes to go. Third and 10 for Daniel Jones from the 25-yard line. He's going to scramble to his left side, look to run. He's going to take off, and he's going to get out of bounds at the 33, setting up for basically a game-deciding fourth and two. Jones from the gun, going to throw it to Darius Slayton, and Slayton will hold on to the football. So the Giants are still alive right now. It's a third and five. Jones looking for a screen. He's got Corey Clement. Clement gets his blockers to the outside. He's still on his feet. And Corey Clement will actually get New York all the way to the 41-yard line. Jones with 303 passing yards so far. And now first and 10 from the 41. Jones out the gun looking left side. What a ball and what a grab. Darius Slayton has got it to the 13-yard line. And now it is a first and 10 for New York. Play action fake for Jones. Scrambling to his right. He's got some time. Jones fires it. Kyle Rudolph. Rudolph is into the end zone. And the New York Giants cut the lead now to five. They will go for two to try and make it a three-point game. Jones out the gun. Look and slant route. He's got Slayton. Okay. It's down to three. Thomas gets injured for the millionth time this year. But here we go. The defense needs a stop. Second and eight handoff to Josh Kelly. We are there. Yes, we are. It is now going to be a third and seven for the Chargers. From the 28-yard line, Herbert looking to throw. He's got time in the pocket. He's got all day. He dumps off to Jared Cook, and he gets it. So here we go. At the two-minute warning, the Giants have all three timeouts. They need to get a stop. And Joshua Kelly is going to run straight into Brandon Williams. So now it is a second and nine from the 37. Back to the ground they go. Kelly is going to get to the 43. And it's going to come down to this. It's a third and three for Herbert. Hand off to Joshua Kelly. We are there with Jabril. No! Peppers will get stiff-armed by Joshua Kelly. And that's going to do it. Kelly with 147 rushing yards on the game and the los angeles chargers are going to win a thriller here in la by a score of 38 to 35 against the giants i mean really it wasn't that bad of a game for new york at all it was just in the end the chargers played better and unfortunately for the giants they now fall to record of five and eight and now you gotta go take on the undefeated 13 and 0 dallas cowboys you get them in new jersey but still it's going to be a very tough outing for Daniel Jones and the New York Giants as they will try to take on and defeat an undefeated football team that has been in no danger so far this year in the Dallas Cowboys. So folks, that'll do it for episode number 12 of the New York Giants franchise mode here on Madden 22. If you have not yet though, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for more and Mamba forever.